is up and welcome back to Buy Stuffy Nix. So today we're talking attention span and focus. Are you focused? Are you ready for it? Good. I'm gonna be teaching you three hacks that are super simple and easy to do. Don't worry, it's nothing complicated, but you are gonna be seeing major benefits super soon, I promise. These are all things that I have done over the years and I've really seen a big difference in my attention span and focus. I mean, if you've ever had the experience where you open up a textbook and within half a page, you're already asleep or you're having a conversation with someone and you're just finding it like pretty hard to focus on what they're saying because you're just like, you have the urge to pull out your phone and go swipe on something or like the most classic, you just, you're not able to watch a TV show or movie without out your phone in your hand, like always multitasking. These are all issues with attention span and focus, and it's not your fault, it really isn't. This is what technology has done to us, but it is fixable. You've taken the first step today by clicking on this video, which is super exciting. I'm proud of you already. And now we're gonna jump right into the three tricks which are gonna help you increase your attention span, sharpen that focus, and just overall improve your life. She said it. Let's do it. This first trick is something that I thought of back in high school. I realized that what I was doing was every time I was on Facebook, articles would come up. I'd click them, you know, read the headline, read the first few sentences, get the gist of it, swipe out, and go back to the newsfeed. This is probably something that pretty much everyone does. But I realized that in school, when we'd have articles assigned, I was finding it hard to get through pages and pages of material because I was so used to just, you know, skimming through a couple sentences, going out, moving on to the next thing. I kind of taught my brain that it only needed to focus for a short amount of time. I had inadvertently decreased my attention span. Not good. So the way that I figured out to counteract this, and I'm gonna suggest it to you right now, is forcing yourself to read every article all the way through. I don't care what you click on, if it's interesting, not interesting, piece of trash gossip article, it doesn't matter. If you click on an article, force yourself to read it from start to finish, no matter what. And if you're used to just kind of skimming through or reading the first couple sentences and leaving, this is gonna be hard but it's worth it. You're literally rewiring your brain to handle more. And this is gonna translate for like all aspects of your life. This is going to increase your overall attention span and focus, not just like for reading. If you're not a big article reader, don't worry, this trick still can apply to you. Just translate it to any long thing that you don't usually read all the way through. Like on Instagram, we have those super long captions that just go on and on and that no one reads. Make sure you read it. Or Instagram stories that are really wordy and it's like you kind of just like get the gist and click to the next one, don't read it through. And again, it doesn't matter if the specific caption post article has value in it. The value is coming just from the practice of reading it all the way through. I think I've said read it all the way through enough times that we can get on to trick number two. <laughs> we just spoke a lot about reading, which is kind of boring. I know some of you are yawning. We're gonna switch over to TV and movies to make it more fun. But don't get too excited because I'm about to say something very annoying. My second trick to increasing your attention span and improving your focus is not multitasking when you're watching a TV show or a movie, AKA put the phone down. I said it, I'm sorry. Now this one has actually never been a personal problem for me. As any of my friends could tell you, I'm a purist when it comes to TV shows or movies. I force everyone around me to just shut their phones. We need full eyes on the screen. <laughs> but I do know and I do empathize, this is a big problem because when you're used to being on your phone, just kind of swiping through while something else is on, it's hard to do without that and just sit there and stare at a screen for so long. It's like you want to be doing more than one thing at a time. This is kind of a difficult one, so I came up with a little system to build it up in a more accessible way. So to start off, you're gonna pick a 30 minute show, which without commercials is more like 20 minutes, so it's really not that bad. And you're gonna force yourself to not pick up your phone even once during the entire episode. See if you can watch the show all the way through with just focusing on the screen and not your other screen at the same time. Of course, during commercials, if there are commercials, you can pick up your phone then, but if you want to kind of expert this hack, keep your phone down then too. Once you feel like you kind of got that, you can graduate onto hour long shows like drama, stuff like that, and see if you can get through that entire hour without going on your phone. And then super advanced, move on to a full length movie. And again, no phone during the entire thing. Again, like in the first trick, this has absolutely nothing to do with a specific show or movie that you're watching. I don't care if it's like an informative documentary or just a reality TV show. The value isn't in the actual content, but in the practice of forcing yourself not to multitask. Putting your focus full on into one thing at a time is going to do wonders for your overall focus. And building it up from a half hour show to an hour show to a full like two, two and a half hour movie, that is increasing your attention span and you're gonna see it translate into other aspects of your life. And really this is actually such a cool practice in self-discipline to be able to say, you know what? I'm really like almost addicted to my phone. I need it when I'm watching TV, but I'm gonna force myself to put it down and see if I can do without it. We're just working on all aspects of self-improvement. This is a good day. <laughs> now that I've fully ruined TV and movie time for you, let's move on to trick number three. 
Sorry. If you're enjoying the video so far, getting some good value out of it, scroll down and leave a like to let me know. Yes. Trick number three is actually a little callback to my college major, media studies. Gonna bring over some of the stuff that I studied to you, but you. So basically for my major, I had to take a lot of classes on technology. And some of them have been actually really interesting and have opened my eyes to seeing phones, computers, social media apps, like in a whole new way, the dark side of it all. Unfortunately, the way that all these things have been designed is with one thing in mind, and that is preying on your attention. They're all trying to steal your valuable attention, which is what we're trying to get back today. Like literally the technology companies have studied and researched the most addictive, like hand motions of swiping, double tapping, the easiest and like most addictive places on the screen to touch, and that's where they put all the buttons. I'm almost sounding like conspiracy theory, but I learned this in college, okay? It's legit. So while as beneficial as this little device can prove to be, it's also kind of an attention suck. Again, not your fault, it's all the phone. So to combat that, I'm gonna say balance out phone, laptop, social media time with an IRL hobby. Something physical that you can do and spend your time on just to give your brain, your eyes, your attention span a break from all that negativity. Like just kind of imagine it like this, when you're on your phone, your computer, there's like lots of good stuff going on, but you can kind of see the attention span and focus, those little bars coming down, they're being depleted. So you wanna balance it out by being able to do something else in person that will slowly raise it back up. So that's the general concept of hack number three, finding kind of an off-screen hobby that you can do. If you happen to need some hobby ideas, I have a whole video where I told you guys some of my favorites. It'll be linked up there, but also down in the description box. You can watch it after this video is done. I'm telling you, committing your focus to an IRL hobby is really gonna help you feel like you're taking your time and attention back from the evil phones, which aren't that evil. Like I love my phone, it has a lot of benefits, whatever, I'm really hating on it today. It's all a balance, okay? Before I throw you guys over to the outro, I just wanna share with you a couple benefits that you are gonna see super soon if you adopt these three habits into your life. Number one, you're gonna start feeling more present. I know it's like a buzzword, but really like it's incredible to feel like you're just living in the moment. You're gonna feel like you're able to enjoy experiences more. This is really like a way to enrich the relationships that you have in your life with your friends, your family, significant other. It's really just like an overall life boost. Who can say no to that? And benefit number two is you're gonna see a decrease in your negative emotions. If you found that you're always feeling like kind of stressed, you have a lot of anxiety, it could be because your attention span and your focus, two of your most valuable things are kind of like being drained from you. Once you start taking them back and increasing them, really you're gonna start feeling kind of lighter and freer and more in control of your emotions. That's like a big claim that I just made there. I'm fully aware of it, but I stand behind it. I've seen it work in myself and in others that I've talked to about this, and I really feel like it can work for you too. One more time for the quick recap. The first habit that you're gonna take on is reading things all the way through, whether that be articles, Instagram captions, long stories, stuff like that. Number two, not multitasking while you're watching TV shows or movies. And we talked about that way to build it up so you don't overwhelm yourself right away. And number three, cultivating an off-screen hobby that's gonna help you feel like you're taking back your time, focus, attention span, and all that. If you feel like you got value out of this video, which I really hope you did, make sure you scroll down and leave a like for me. I'd really appreciate it. Of course, if you wanna stick around and catch more videos, which I totally recommend you do, you can join the Bye Steffi Nicks fam by hitting the subscribe button and ringing the notification bell to get notifications of all my new videos. Got the little dance and everything. <laughs> and while you're down there, definitely leave a comment telling me your thoughts on today's video. It was kind of different from usual, but this is something that clearly I'm very passionate about and I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. With all that said, we've reached the end of the video and look at that, you made it all the way through just working on that full attention span. I'm super proud. I loved hanging out with you guys today. I had a super fun time. I hope you did too. And as always, this was by Steffi Dix. Bye.